live from the WNCN studios. Hello and welcome to My Carolina Today. I'm Volanda Callaway. And I'm Alex Butler. Coming up in today's show, we're going to tell you about the many components of a healthy diet. We're always mm -hmm. trying to eat healthy. Yes, absolutely. And the Muhammad Ali story told in an English language opera. Ooh. Can't wait to hear more about and that. the voice, the voice. Yes. Indeed. Aren't you glad you're in North Carolina oh instead of gosh. in Boston or yes. Providence, Rhode Island? <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Look Woo. at that. My goodness. God that bless is, the people who are having to deal with this. Oh I know my, a lot I'm of people at, actually I'm, love big snows like this. I do not. But you would like I, some snow. Well, I would like a little snow. I'm not asking for a blizzard, <laughs> but I like a little snow. I like to see some trinklets come from the sky, look outside and see the prettiness yeah. on the trees. Yeah, I can deal with that. You know, so this this is scary, actually. For Our me. Facebook question of the day, if you had to go into your closet with what's in there right now, and we were hit with two feet of snow, could you handle it? I could, because I'm so cold-natured. So I've got big clothes, big boots, big Fail scarves. for the Florida girl. I really, I don't, I mean, honestly, I wish I had more things that are like wintry, but even uh -huh. then, you know, like I'm still ordering things online that I'm like, is it still winter? Do I need more snow stuff? I'm asking, I'm always asking people, how much longer do you think it'll be cold? Because I need more sweaters. So yeah, I mean, I don't think I could do two feet of snow. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness we don't have to deal with that right now. Well, yeah. Elton John is coming to the Crown Coliseum. That is exciting. He's coming in Fayetteville, March 11th. We are giving away five <laughs> pairs of lower level tickets. Go to MyCarolinaToday.com and click contest to enter. All right. The, the Blue Man Group also is coming to Duke Energy Center January 29th through the 31st. I've never actually seen this show, but I've heard great things about it. And every time I see it, it makes me think of this like old school song that's like, I'm blue and I will dee da will da. I don't know if people know that song, but I sang it to Volanda in the, in, in, back in the day and she was like, um... <laughs> No. Where would I know She's that She's like, I don't know the song. From. But anyway, yeah, so it's totally unrelated, but it just makes me think of it. I so. interviewed a blue man. And how was it? What did you It think? was cool, but he was not in his blue makeup. Oh, okay. So, they get into it. Yeah, I was just looking at him the whole time, just trying to imagine him in his blue, yeah. with his blue head painted. And what it would look like. Yeah, so yeah, but I hear the show is phenomenal, so that's something else that's going on during the big Super Bowl weekend. Yes, the big game is this Sunday, and you've got some hacks. Serious hacks. Okay, okay. so first, <laughs> let me just begin with letting you know that every once in a while I like to bring in the hacks. I have an idea that I'm like, you know, we got to make things easier for people. So number one, chips and dips. Sometimes you want to put the bowl in there, but it doesn't leave enough room for all the chips. Uh -huh. This way, you put in a cool. wine glass and then it doesn't take up any of the room for the chips. So you have loads of chips. Uh -huh. You don't have to watch out. Erica's kind of like 50 50 on that. You don't one. like that idea? I saw her Erica's face. She was like, eh. That's a good idea because they Inside make the containers thing. like that. Right. But if you don't have a container and you just have to use there what you go. have at home, there you go. Put the bowl. I like that one. Okay, number two. A lot of people have warm beer. All of a sudden, you're in chaos. You're like, oh my gosh, warm beer, how do we get it cold? Warm beer in salted ice. If you stick it inside of salted ice or mm -hmm. water, so add water and then salt, mm -hmm. and then cold ice, let it sit in there. They say within seven minutes, it should be cold. Oh. Yes, okay. and I saw a guy do it on YouTube. He tested it, said it was cold. So if you got hot, you know, there you go. There's solved. All right. All right. Okay, number three. <laughs> Erica's like 50-50 on that one. Okay, next one. Corn on the cob in hot water. Okay, oh. so here's the thing. You have a lot of people you want to make corn in the cob for. You're going to chop them up. Mm -hmm. This is for even not on the Super Bowl. You can stick it in a cooler, put two kettles of hot water into the cooler, let it sit for 30 minutes, cooked. What? What's wrong with that one? The cooler might be dirty. The, the, the cooler, cooler might be dirty. Might be dirty. <laughs> Clean the cooler first, people. <laughs> then do it. I guess the, if, the, if you're away from home, this would work great. Right. You would need to do this at home. Well, or you, I mean, if you have a lot of people that are coming to your house. A and you big know, pot and boil it on top of the stove? I mean, how big of a pot? I mean, I don't own a pot, really. Real. Okay, <laughs> next. All right, so <laughs> you've got, you know how you get a big case of soda sometimes? Uh -huh. And you have all these sodas, and then you take them out one by one and stick them in? This guy on YouTube came up with a fast way to do it. Check it out. So he opens it up. Like He's like, open up one side, stick uh -huh. it in to the fridge, open the other side, uh -huh. stick your hand in, push them all out. <laughs> Done! <laughs> Come on, I never thought to do that. I always sit there and I'm always taking them out one by one every time, Velanda. Have you ever thought to do that? 
No. No. I know. So it seems like an easy hack, but it's not common sense because we. I'm one of those people. I'm always pulling every single one out. Okay, I just made your day faster. If you're cooking that day, you're gonna be like, bring all the sodas in. One, two, three, <laughs> done. No, all just right. go. Whoosh. Yeah, shoo, straight through, and you're done. All right, and finally, this one's for the kids. Super Bowl bingo. So you know how the kids mm -hmm. sometimes they don't really know what's going on. They yeah. can't really get into it, mm -hmm. and you know they don't really understand the teams. So you got something for the kids to do by printing out these little bingo cards. Okay. And they're all football related. All right. So if something happens, you can be like, all right, we're playing bingo during the commercial breaks. And then you can use like little f foods and stuff. Okay. <laughs> I think our next item is begging to be talked about, addressed. <laughs> so let's address it. Okay. So I told you guys about this app yesterday, Marco Polo. Yes. <laughs> he heard me say his name. Okay. So if you lose your cell phone, they created this app to help you find it. I am infamous for not knowing where my cell phone is. So you download this app. You yell Marco, and it's supposed to say Polo. It didn't work. Back, but it has some glitches, I think. Do it again. Marco. Polo! <laughs> it worked. <laughs> we have an opera singer in the house. Let's see if our opera singer can get it to okay, work. Okay, right. Take it away, Solomon. Marco! It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm surprised. I know. Do it one more time, but lower. Marco! Do it more like you're, you're talking to your friend, like, hey, Marco. Hey, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> It's still not working. It has some glitches, I have to be honest. I'm really, I don't know what the glitches are, but I know that they exist Marco! because Because if you speak in a high-pitched voice or a very, very deep one, it doesn't work. But if you're right Marco! in the middle. Marco! 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 <laughs> we mic'd the phone, so that's why you can hear it. It's not somebody pushing the button. But anyway, if you want to join the app, it's 99 cents. All this morning, I was I was like, this app is sexist. I'm like, this app this doesn't app respond crazy. to girl voices. And then it, men were coming in and doing it. So it's just, you know. We've had such laughs all morning with this doggone <laughs> app. And then it will just respond. I want your 99 cents back. Yeah, I want it back. <laughs> I want my 99 cents back. It also responds when you're just talking loudly. Right, as we have been throughout the morning. Yes. Hillsboro is a semifinalist in the coolest small town contest. See, there it, it goes. Well. I didn't say Marco. <laughs> Budget Travel Magazine contest. Hillsboro led the nominations in the preliminary voting last fall. Vote through February 25th. We'll put a link on our website. All right, Marco. No, See, it won't we're out. Even... Okay, Marco, take us to the break. No, okay. 